Why are China and the UK fooding over passports? The two countries until recently were enjoying a so-called golden era in relations. But then things went downhill fast, especially when it came to Britain's former colony, Hong Kong. It was heralded as a golden era of relations between the UK and China. President Xi Jinping honoured with a state visit. I think this is going to be a very important moment for British-Chinese relations, which are in a very good state. There is alarm among MPs about China's creeping aggression. The end of the so-called golden era in diplomacy and the movement of the UK much closer to the US's tough position are unwelcome developments for China. Hands off, Hong Kong, and, you know, show respect. This territory, once again a flashpoint between London and Beijing. Beijing says that it will no longer recognize the special British passport held by some of the city's residents. China's decision came in response to a special visa program the UK started last year. The new visa will make it easier for Hong Kong residents with a BNO passport to become British citizens. But what exactly is a BNO passport? Well, first, we have to go back to 1984. The Sino British Joint Declaration was signed that year when Hong Kong was still a British colony. The UK agreed to hand Hong Kong back to China under the agreement of one country two systems. The agreement guaranteed rights such as freedom of speech and right to assembly for 50 years. But as a caveat, in 1987, the UK started issuing BNOs or British National Overseas Passports. People born in Hong Kong before 1997 would be eligible to apply for one. The passport only offered limited travel to the UK with no rights to work or a path to citizenship. Currently, it's estimated that about 300,000 people have a BNO passport, with another 2.9 million eligible. But under the new visa scheme, having a BNO will allow you to live and work in the UK, and eventually, you could become a British citizen. The UK estimates that 300,000 Hong Kongers will migrate in the next five years. This is um, the one, one of its kind, effectively. It's a bespoke visa route to provide freedoms, safety, security. London says the new visa is in response to Beijing's encroachment on the city. China has condemned the move. This action is an invasion of China's sovereignty, an interference in China and Hong Kong's internal affairs and severely violated international laws and principles of international relations. China firmly opposes this and expresses its indignation. This new path towards citizenship for Hong Kong residents came after China imposed a sweeping new national security law on the city last year. The enactment and imposition of this national security law constitutes a clear and serious breach of the Sino-British Joint Declaration. Beijing said the new laws were necessary to prevent a repeat of anti-government protests that rocked the city for months in 2019. London firmly supported those protesters, and now there are fears of a tit-for-tat escalation after the UK announced it was revoking the broadcast license of a Chinese state-owned news channel. CGTN has had its license revoked by the media regulator Ofcom over concerns about its ownership. Uh, an investigation by the regulator concluded that the channel's parent company does not have editorial control over the broadcaster, which is not permitted under UK law. Although China's decision to no longer recognize the BNO passport is mostly symbolic, Beijing did warn the UK that more was still to come. What that will be is anyone's guess.